going on, fam? It's Monte Carlo. And do you know what the internet is chock full of besides porn and the Kardashians? Opinions, Bay. We all have one, especially when it comes to food. But who's got the brightest opinion of them all? My boss, Gordon Ramsay, who has something to say about the craziness you've been sending him on Twitter. Let's see what the internet's cooked up today. Uh, okay. Wow. Look at this wide open bag of sock. It is literally tuna with mayo mixed in. Why would you do this to yourself? Who eats this crap? You know what? This dish needs help. Ramsey Redemption. Let's do it. You want to impress your Tinder date? Make them a beautiful composed salad with jarred tuna. That's step one. Does this look like something you'd serve to your cat? No, this is good stuff, all right? First things first, we're gonna elevate this tuna by adding some heat to it. And that means pickled jalapenos. Like, look, this is a mandolin. You can slice a jalapeno with your knife and show off your perfect knife skills, or you can be a complete lazy bum like me. Look at this, isn't that gorgeous? Oh uh, no, you can see through it. The jalapeno's hot, that's no joke. We are gonna pickle this jalapeno. It's a quick pickle, which means it takes no time at all. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna add acidity, it's gonna add heat to your salad, it's gonna make it perfection. Equal parts water and white distilled vinegar. You're gonna add a pinch of salt because you always add a pinch. What is a pinch? Three fingers, babe. And then a touch of sweetness because it adds depth. I like to use honey. If you don't have honey, you can also use sugar. Okay, we're gonna dissolve the honey. And then we will pick up, oh ho, you see what I almost did? Glove, always. All right, we'll pick up these jalapenos. We'll drop them in the pickling juice. And we're just gonna bring it to a gentle simmer and let them sit. Step two, we're gonna make a fabulous dressing. Yes, you could buy dressing at the grocery store, but this one is so much easier, it's yummy, and hello, it's quick. We're going to start with olive oil, vinegar, some garlic that's been mashed into a paste, a touch of salt. Now, here's a trick to dressing. One part vinegar to three to four parts oil. We're going to start with a little touch of the garlic, some salt, and I'm going to use some lemon. Why lemon and vinegar? Because I like to combine vinegars and acids. That way it gives you depth of flavor. You're going to get the juice of a whole lemon. Look at my Mike Tyson strength. Are you sick of my 80s references? <laughs> Now, it's very important when you're making dressing that you taste it before you add the oil. You want it to be bright, acidic, and have enough salt in it. Salt will elevate it. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. All right, we're gonna drizzle the olive oil in, little by little, and then we're gonna emulsify. Emulsification is just a fancy word for the oil, giving the vinegar a nice big hug. Don't pour all the oil in at once. A little more acid, and we are ready to go. Dressing done. How fast was that? So fast. Let's check on our pickles. Ooh, you see that beautiful steam? Ready to go, they're steaming up. We're gonna take the jalapeno slices out of the pickling liquid. All right, and then we're gonna pour the pickling liquid into the jar. Do you see how perfect that was? Come on. Done, pickles. That was so fast, right? You didn't even have to deal with parking at the grocery store. Amazing. Step three. Now that we have made our dressing, we are going to put together the greens. Why greens in the salad? Because it's begging for it. Arugula, it's nutty, it's peppery, it's gonna cut through all of the fat in the olive oil. Italian parsley, it's gonna add earthiness to the arugula. Put it all in. 
use some edamame, which is a soybean that's been cooked. Actually, if you buy it in the frozen food aisle, it's already cooked, you just gotta warm it up. I like to add lemon thyme. You can go ahead and take all the leaves off. Now, when you're using lemon thyme, or any thyme for that matter, don't just like pick the leaves out one by one. Just go against the grain like you're petting the kitty. There you go, bam. Now it's time to dress the greens. Please don't actually put dressing on your greens. That's wrong. Dress the bowl. Yeah, like so. Dress the bowl, boom. And then you toss the greens. And that way, they still look good. You know when a girl's wearing too much makeup? You don't want your greens to look like that. All right. Salt, always, from above. Let's add more color to this salad with a radish. Radishes are fabulous. Now you're gonna keep your radish fresh by putting it in some ice water. It's gonna keep it nice and crisp. Otherwise, you're gonna get a wibbly wobbly radish. Ain't nobody got time for that. Look at how pretty that, look at this. Is this the prettiest thing? Lie to me, it's so great. All right, moving on. Scallions are gonna give you a nice pungent bite. So we're just rocking. Oh, I love the sound of that. That's, that's good enough. We are also gonna put the scallions in ice water to keep them fresh. Fresh is the name of the game when it comes to salad. There's nothing for this tuna to hide behind, so your ingredients have to be good. Have you guys seen this before? This is a Persian cucumber. Use a Persian cucumber or an English cucumber. All right. We're gonna toss these again in that dressing. Have you guys seen these mushrooms before? They're enoki mushrooms. We're gonna take off this woody, end, and then look at this. How pretty are these gonna be on our plate? They look like little alien ears. We'll put these to the side, we'll plate these later. Do you know what these are? Sardines. It gives you depth of flavor, it's savory. So we're going to chop these into a paste and we're gonna add it to our tuna, okay. We're gonna take our sardines and we are gonna mix them into our tuna. Don't break up the tuna, be gentle about it, okay? Now that we have our 158 components ready to go, let's redeem this dish. We've got our greens, they've been dressed. We're going for that Gangbusters Instagram shot. We're gonna add some of our incredible radish slices to give it pops of color, our edamame beans throughout, our slices of cucumber, and then we're going to finish with these incredible enoki mushrooms. And then we're going to very gently place our tuna, just a little here and there, okay? All right, look at that. It's looking gorgeous, guys. I am winning the game today. All right, black sesame seeds. Look how gorgeous that is. Finally, these pickles are officially pickled. This is going to add that incredible heat. It's gonna cut right through and give incredible personality to this tuna. That's what you eat for lunch. This dish has been redeemed. Look at this beauty, okay? This looks so much better than that dish that Gordon called cat vomit. Let him utter those words about this salad. It ain't gonna happen. This dish really moves me. Thanks so much for hanging out. If you've got a dish that needs redemption, just submit it with the hashtag Ramsey Redemption. Gordon would love to talk trash and I would love to try and fix it. Thanks for joining us today and make sure to hit subscribe so you can watch more fun Gordon Ramsay videos. I'm just gonna cool it. Cool it now, you gotta slow it down. Anyone, right. anyone? Anyone in their 40s here? No? Okay. <laughs>